Hello everyone, my name is Kuru Shefani. I am a sociologist and the uh, author of the book Infinitism and also another book called Infinitology. Infinitology is a discipline that I am suggesting to establish in order to have a better idea about uh, what is uh, infinity and what would be the application of the knowledge of infinity. Uh, we are talking about the applications that can be effectively used in uh, our life and for the science, for the technology and also for saving uh, humanity and our planet. So, uh, in the uh, two uh, uh, first parts uh, of this se uh, series of video, I wanted uh, to just give you an idea about how I had been brought to do that, right? That's why I started to uh, make a lecture of uh, the initial part of the book, which is just the foreword of the book. And uh, I explained how this idea came to my mind and how I wanted to effectively uh, elaborate it as a discipline, infinitology as a discipline. So I explained it in uh, two first videos that had been produced and presented and you can find it on uh, the uh, on YouTube, uh, the YouTube of Kurush Erfani and also in our website that uh, you can see uh, below infinitology.com and infinitism.info and also another uh, website the CRDI uh, which is the uh, website of the Center for Research and Development of Infinitology the CRDI that I will make a presentation later and you can find also uh, some presentations in uh, among the videos that I have already produced on the YouTube of Kuru Sherfan. So uh, what I wanted to uh, develop here before going through the introduction of the book, we are talking about this uh, this book, Infinitology, Foundation of a New Discipline, right? That's the first book that we published on this uh, discipline. That's the basic ideas, the primary ideas and principles of infinitology, and we explain uh, uh, what it is uh, basically and what could be the foundations of such a discipline. So this is not a very uh, heavy book, as you can see, it's just uh, 148 pages, uh, um, easy to read. Uh, that's true. <laughs> the, the the subject is difficult. The subject is complex, but the explanations are very simple, and you can use the uh, videos that I am producing uh, regarding this book in order to have a better idea on uh, what I mean by this or that formulation that you can find in the book. Maybe a little complex or complicated. But when I explain them uh, verbally, you can see that it is not really uh, hard. So before going to the uh, um, the part introduction, which I will do in the in the next video, part four uh, of this uh, set, uh, I wanted just to uh, underline um, three points. The first one is uh, I decided to make uh, the progress of this uh, uh, adventure, of this undertaking, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, in live, you know, which means that I wanted to uh, bring uh, the, those uh, who are interested in this subject uh, along with me in the way that I am making the efforts to uh, doing this job, to establish a, a new discipline that can be called infinitology, which is the exact definition of knowledge of infinity, infinity logic, 
acquired knowledge of infinity. So, uh, the uh, purpose of the production of this kind of video is just to show you that when something is uh, growing up, you know, even uh, such a uh, such an assignment that I uh, created for myself, right? This is a uh, individual work. It's not uh, institutionalized. It's not my academic uh, assignments, right? I teach uh, at university, but uh, it doesn't have anything with this idea. So that's the personal adventure, but I wanted to show you how I am doing that. Why? Because you can see that uh, despite of all the challenges, all the difficulties that can have uh, such an adventure, someone is ready to pay time, energy, and uh, uh, accepting other uh, spending or uh, cost just to uh, create something new. And the second point is why I am doing that because I would like to help uh, the beautiful earth and also the uh, ma magnificent uh, phenomenon that is called the humanity, right? Humanity is great. The human beings are great. And that's why as a member of the human community, I would like to help for survival and also for uh, flourishment, for development, for the well-being of humanity. So, uh, we are not doomed to live in a dark uh, understanding of the future, right? We can see uh, the light uh, at the end of the tunnel and we can uh, be excited about a better life for everyone and that's why uh, I am highly motivated, infinitely motivated for doing so. Why? Because uh, it will reduce the suffering of the people in the one hand and it will increase the possibility of creating the happiness for more people on the other hand. So that's the motivation. And the third point is that uh, even though the uh, way and the modality that I choose to uh, uh, carry this project out, uh, you as the viewer of this video and uh, other production that I did, you can say that is there anything substantial in what he is saying? You know, instead of having an idea uh, preconceived about, uh, you know, making a very rapid judgment that no, this kind of activity uh, doesn't lead to anything, you know, uh, no, it's not useful, no, it's too late or something like that. You can stop for one moment and ask, what does it mean taking the knowledge about infinity and using that in such a way that the main purpose of all of this is to get access to endless resources of materials and energy in such a way that we can establish, we can create a new civilization, a new civilization that is uh, free from the idea of the scarcity, right? The shortage, the uh, limited point. That's the idea of the uh, endlessness of infinite resources, right? That's the, uh, the, the main theory of infinitism, the main idea of the theory of infinitism. So, infinitology is there to help uh, create something new, right? And this uh, new thing is a deep and well-established knowledge about the infinity. And once we have this knowledge of infinity, we can see 
how it will change our approach to the material world. So, three points. First, uh, I am constructing this discipline uh, with those who are interested. If uh, you want, if you would like to come along with these uh, productions, and at a given moment, if you are interested to participate in that, to you know, produce something about that, to criticize that, to you know, do something about it. The second is that the motivation, which is to help humanity in the one hand, uh, our beautiful planet on the other hand, in such a way that we can keep going because uh, as uh, we will see in the next video, uh, in the introduction, I said that if only and only we keep assure, uh, we can assure the survival of uh, the human beings, we would be able to create the very interesting, very, very interesting things, a very different world, a very uh, uh, different uh, civilization, right? That's the motivation. Uh, and the third point that uh, there wouldn't be, you know, any uh, uh, limitation to what we are doing, right? Uh, which means that you can see if one person, one individual is doing all of this, you can go through the website of infinitology.com, infinitism.info. You can go on the CRDI, you know, the CRDI.com, and you can see the amount of the production that I have. For example, if you see the number of the book that I published on this subject, Infinitism, Infinitology, we are talking about, Basis of Infinitology, Infinitude in Action, Project, Project of Infinitism. If you see all the papers that we published already, right, and we are uh, uh, publishing right now, and other activities, so you can ask uh, uh, yourself if it's worthwhile or not, you know, to do so. And if you see that I am doing it, you can ask yourself why he is doing that. What is the motivation? And that was the second point that I said. The motivation is just helping humanity to reduce the suffering of the people who are suffering effectively and adding to the well-being of anybody, anybody across the world. So you see that there is a noble idea, the noble uh, intention behind all of this and, and now it's a question of our determination, our seriousness to do so and to move forward. I hope that you can come along, you can be curious about that and uh, help me to uh, you know move forward together because there is nothing personal in what I am doing, it's just a ethical responsibility of a human being for a world, a civilization, and especially that uh, are effectively at risk, right? We should be aware of that. Uh, we should be aware of all the risk that we are undergoing for our future, for the future of our planet, for the future of our species, uh, and so on. And we have to act. We have to act now. This is what I am doing uh, beside, our, uh, beside other activities that I have as a political activist. I am doing that and I hope that it will have a little minuscule resolve uh, for the well-being of humanity and for saving our beautiful earth, beautiful planet. Thank you. And I invite you to follow this set of video in the part four we will go through the introduction of this book infinitology foundation of a new discipline thank you very much and see you for the next video